So today we have another GameCube, and guess what? It doesn't read discs. Um, they're also having trouble with the open button um, for the disc tray. So we'll take a look at it. This one, we've already done a video on this one, but it's worth going through. I'm just gonna go through it and adjust the laser, clean it up a little bit. Um, the customer says that it actually reads just like a little here and there, so. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to it and go for it. Cool. And believe it or not, this one actually has a Game Boy player on it as well, but this one has the disc in it, which the first one that we did didn't have the disc, it just had the actual attachment. So if anybody's curious, that's what the disc looks like. And then obviously you still need the bottom piece right here that you're gonna work with uh, to play those Game Boy Advance games. All right, so um, I've actually already tested this one, so we'll just jump right into it and get it, get it going. Um, first things first, I'm obviously gonna take this out. I could barely, when I tested it, it would catch like one out of five times. Um, and then so at that point, you know that the laser just needs a little bit of adjustment. It's good news too, because it could actually, it actually works. So you know the laser is still fine. And then we're just gonna do a full cleaning on it. This thing is pretty uh, dirty from what I see. So that won't hurt either. And right away, you can just see how much dirt's in there. Just got it caked on everywhere. We'll get the fan all cleaned out there. That looks gross too. Like I said, the motor was actually running, so we'll just go ahead and just disconnect everything and then get it going. Um, we'll do a quick adjustment on the laser and that should get it going right away. So let's get started. You know how it goes. We have about five on this side, four on this side, another five I believe on this side, and then four on the front here, so. Um, first things first, we'll take off the power and fan. It's definitely causing some issues there too, so we'll clean all this out. I mean, that... Yeah, it just needs a good cleaning. Um, I'm sure most of that dust um, probably is a culprit for getting on a laser, just kind of getting it really dirty. Six screws, one, two, three, one, two, three. Once those are off, this just pops right back off. And there's our laser assembly. Um, so if you ever have to take it completely off, you obviously know you pop them out. This one, there's a little latch here, and then a latch on this side. Once you pop that off, you can disconnect the ribbon, and then you can get to the laser from underneath there. Um, but that's only if you need to change the laser. Uh, so we're going to be messing with, obviously, like we did in the first one. Let's see if I can get focused here. We are going to be messing with this pot right here. But first, before we get started, let's always start with the base and see where we're at. Four hundred, three ninety-seven. So let's go down from there. We won't go too far because it is reading them just barely. So three forty-one. Yeah, let's do that one. And while it's out here, let's go ahead and just clean the laser too. Before I start going through this, I'm gonna go ahead and just pause and then I'm gonna go take this outside and just clean up all this uh, all this gunk out here out of the main motherboard before we start putting it all back together. So, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so we got it all dusted out, cleaned out, um, fairly decent. So, uh, let's go ahead and just put back in uh, the pieces that we're going to test with. We obviously need the fan and the power back in because that's what's going to power the whole unit. And luckily, we don't have to put it back on the, uh, the metal bracket yet. We'll just throw this guy in and then test. Just go ahead and slot it there. 
and it's back to normal. And we'll just go ahead and throw in the AV. Before we power it, let's go ahead and put on the front. Uh, controller ports here. All right, so now that we have everything connected back up to our GameCube just to test in, um, we'll go ahead and throw in a disc. Um, I usually try my own discs, but since the customer brought in their disc, we're going to throw in the Game Boy Player disc. This one, I don't know if you can tell. Let's see if I can get a better shot here. This one is not in the best shape. You can kind of tell there's some deep scratches and stuff on it. Um, we're just going to... We're going to go with this one because most likely this is the game that he wanted to play anyways. So if we adjust to this, then we'll know that it'll work for him. Let's go and power on. All right. And then remember, you have to do these uh, just to get the laser going. Looks like it's picking it up right away. Sounds normal and picks up Game Boy Player right away. So now we know that that one works, back to normal. Usually if you're still having issues with it, it would take a lot longer for it to read, to go through any of that. Obviously we can't start this one because we don't have the attachment on the bottom, but that'll work. I can try one more game just to make sure. So that's just simulating the door opening. It's gonna allow us to take this one out. Let me grab another disc and see. Here's my tester disc. This one's just a motorcycle rally. This one's actually in a lot better shape. Uh, so this one should pick up right away too. And it's actually having a little bit of trouble. So let's just adjust it just a little bit more and see if we can't get it. There it goes, it's grabbing now. I think if we go down just a little bit, I think we could still, I think we could make it a lot better. So let's go ahead and power off real quick and then we'll just adjust it. I think we're at 341 right now. So we'll go down to 300-ish and see where we're at. can hear it just spinning up normally so it should grab right away it sounds like it's grabbing right away yep so that grabbed right away we're at 278 right now um, anything below 200 I usually would just go with the new laser um, but I'm pretty sure this has quite a bit of life left back in it because like I said it was still grabbing just barely so just a little bit adjustment will we'll get it back where it needs to go you could probably get I mean, I'm not going to give a number, but you could you could get a lot more life out of this still. Um, so, cool. Uh, let's just go ahead and let's test. Let's test the other uh, Game Boy Player disc as well. And for this one, I'm just going to power on normal. Remember, this is the customer's Game Boy disc. And you can hear it normally. And there it is, Game Boy Player. Cool. So everything's good here. I'm gonna clean this all up. We're gonna get that door open button going and I'll show you how to clean that one out. But let me get this one done first and then we'll get it all put back together. Cool. All right, so I got the main pieces all cleaned out um, with isopropyl. I'm letting it kind of uh, dry while we do this part. So this part is actually pretty simple we're gonna do a full cleanup on the outside shell anyways but um, he was saying that the button the open button gets stuck um, if you look inside here this is really simple we'll just get inside here and clean so basically this button's supposed to be pretty free and then it ejects it from right here if you look underneath here 
Um, it's possible. I know that it's fully gunked up, so I'm just gonna take it out completely and then clean it. But it's possible to uh, relieve some tension on this guy right here and then get it to work a little bit better. So if you have one that you, you know is probably pretty clean, you can actually just adjust this one back. The right screwdriver here. You can adjust this one back and then get it going just by taking it back just a little bit. Sometimes they get worn out over time. This one, like I said, is still gunked up, so we're still gonna have to go through it that way. But if you have a decently clean one, that'll that'll usually do it too. Um, but for this one, it's a couple screws here. Just make sure you remember the orientation of how this all goes back together. This one feels like straight out of the factory. These ones are just insanely tight. And you could take everything out and soak it in like soapy water and then work it clean that way. I actually have my own method. I just kind of use Windex and clean it all through. Just pops out just like that. Make sure you keep that, uh, the, the, um, The spring intact here. Uh, we'll just set it to the side. Cool. And then back in here. Um, it's just got two clips, so you just want. Clip and push, clip and push, and then this one will pop it out right there. And as you can tell, yeah, it's it's super dirty inside there. So that's what's grabbing it. All that gunk inside there is gonna grab it. So we'll clean this all shell out. I'll put it back together and then we'll go from there. Cool. working just fine everything's back to normal and let's go ahead and just clean it back up and put it all back together awesome all right so we actually finished this sky on up cleaned all the outside the interior is obviously done the laser's good back to normal our open and closed tray is actually working perfectly fine we're just going to do one final test and then just let the game play through um, i'm using the game boy player So I can actually hear the laser, or excuse me, the disc loading up perfectly fine. There it is, it recognizes it. I'll go ahead and start it. And this is gonna run the Game Boy uh, Advance here game. I have Crazy Taxi in right now. So the way this actually works is it's, uh, that disc is essentially just a security device. So it just reads it, makes sure that it has the actual legit uh, Game Boy Disc, and then it just runs the rest of the game from the actual cartridge at the bottom here. And it loaded up fine, so I'll give this a try. I haven't played, I know I have, I actually have one, a Game Boy player, I just haven't busted it out for a long time, so it's always worth a cool look. Cool. Well, that one was a simple one. We've done this before. I just wanted to do another one just to kind of show you, give you a couple different views of each uh, of each one. But uh, this one got going, I believe, I'll, I'll double check, but I believe it was 278, 278 ohms is what got the laser to go. And then we obviously cleaned out that button. So cool. Well, thanks for watching another Fix It Friday, guys. Uh, I'm going to finish up by just playing some games for a little while and uh, we shall catch you guys later. Check out any of my other videos for any of the other repairs going on. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks a lot. We'll catch you guys later.